Sad Corporation, yeah, this is sad. So, people, this is Sad Corp, as um, we have a special announcement to make, right, Scott? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, what we're gonna do now is, as you can tell, we had some big spaces between our episodes. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna be switching to a summer season where we'll only broadcast during the summer. But over the winter, we'll come out with fail videos and whatnot, you know, that kind of crap. So, let's get rolling. Nobody's special outside! Yeah, that's Scott. Fat ass Dan. And I know, very fat. Can you guys stop reminding me? Yeah, yeah. It's now time for music news. We just got you off. Alright, so here we go. People, music news for the first time in a long time. Molly Cruz, Vince Neil gets a lifetime in Achievement Award, which is kind of ironic, you know, in the sense. It's new. But, yeah. Um, yeah. Killed somebody. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously, what is it? An everyday thing to kill somebody? Oh, I killed a black guy last week. Yeah. Everybody kills black guys. <laughs> and everybody jumps. No um, slurs. Yeah, and everybody jumps at the sound of a shotgun, because in my neighborhood, everybody's got one. Yeah, Limp Bizkit's Gold Cobra, check that out. But that's not the point right Look here. for a review on our website, sidecorp.weebly.com. Save the Rock will happen on August 28th at Washington County Fairflex. That's uh, like a big-ass concert to like save some. I'm not really sure of the details. Yeah, the, uh, the details weren't much, but we know that uh, Five Finger Death Punch. Yeah, wait, I, I got the bands listed here. Um, there's Korn, Five Finger Death Punch, Chevelle, Hinder, Duff McKeegan, along with some other bands. <laughs> Duff they McKeegan. Yeah, <laughs> along with, um, and Guns N' Roses tribute band, which Guns N' Roses is my favorite band, called App Appetite for Deception, which is, you know, Deception? Really? Yeah, I, I don't know. Just don't. And, uh, Korn's Jonathan Davis, the singer, if you didn't know that. They said that they've always loved playing in Portland. That's basically all I've got on that story, so... Here we go with the last one. Um, Kiss is easy. Top two classic great bands. We both agree here. Yes. Are on the 50 best American bands of all time, which would probably be one of my. Pretty obvious. Yeah. Just three pieces of music news. <laughs> yeah. That's all you get. So AIDS. Exactly. <laughs> Peace out. It's now time for Jerk of the Week with Dan. Holy. Oh yeah. Hello everybody, my name is Dan Hooley. There are many jerks out there, and I will bring you two. This week's jerk is Lenny Kravitz, where he announced that he will be releasing a rap album called uh, Black and White America with um, some artists such as Jay-Z and Drake. Alright, so, and uh, he says, uh, he says, it's all music to me. Oh, well, uh, he seems like pretty dumb about that one. I mean, come on. Everybody knows that Rap hates rock and rock hates rap, but you know, rap is crap and rock is gay, you know, they're too goddamn stupid to come up with any decent insult, you know. Very true, very yeah, true. Yeah, retards attempting poetry, you know, yeah, all that crap. Now, um, I, I don't like how, it's not as much as him turning to rap, it's how he says it's all, music is all the same. What the hell? This guy's been in rock and roll for how long and he still can't see the difference? For people. So... Thanks, see, so, Lenny Kravitz, your douchebaggery has earned you another, well, not another, but yet another person on our wall of shame, it's the sad car wall of shame, for Jerk of the Week. So, screw you, you douchebag. Dear Mr. <laughs> douchebag, we all agree that you are a dumbass, why can't you see that? You're a douchebag, 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 you're a douchebag. This is uh, Three Facts for Three Bands, a segment that we don't do that often or well. You know. Well, we don't do anything well, but that's pretty relevant. Yeah, so uh, three bands are going to be Disturbed, Saliva, and Tap. Alright. Let's we start go. with the dude on Scott's shirt. Disturbed. disturbed right yeah, that guy's ripped. They sold over 239,000 copies of uh, sickness. The album. Yeah, the album. Yeah. Um, and they're also influenced by Pantera and Soundgarden, which are two very great bands. You should check them out. iTunes, whatever you want. Yep. Uh, and their guitarist, uh, Dan Dungan, if I'm saying it right. 
I think so. Yeah, man. He started his guitar at age 10, which is uh, pretty young, if I were to say so myself. Yeah, Scott's got AIDS, so don't mind his coughing. Yeah. Um, they're from Chicago, and they have a mascot, which, you know, yes. right here. I actually saw a video on Google Image. Google Images, a picture, sorry. Kind of like Iron Maiden's mascot. And yeah, and it was like the disturbed dude, and he's like a soldier on in the battle. It's pretty hot. Hey, you guys should go check that out. All right, so that's it with Disturbed. Let's go on to Saliva. Saliva has worked with Chad Kroger on a song for Spider-Man. Chad Kroger is the singer of uh, Nickelback, if you didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, great band right there. Nickelback's so it, but all right. Yeah, a little on the uh, sexual side, but... Yeah, it's awkward when you're when you first heard uh, "Animal" by him in the car with your dad. Very true. Yeah. All right, and Nikki Six wrote their song "Rest in Pieces." Nikki Six, great person overall. Not Heroin cool. addict, but he was still good. True. Well, not during this. That song was made in 2003 or something like that. <laughs> they're uh, they're from Memphis, Memphis, uh, Tennessee. Is that it? Yeah, Elvis is there too. What do you know? Um, their most famous song is Always, which was off the same album with the rest of the pieces, if I remember correctly. And they formed in 1996, two years before I was born, so... Holy sack! A year before I was born, bitch! Yeah. Alright, now under our last band, Tapper, which is, uh... Comes out with some great singles now and again. They're, uh... They spent seven months recording their album, Welcome, which came out in 2002. It was recorded in Los Angeles, which is where a lot of music is obviously recorded. No shit. And Andy Wallace mixed Tapper's album, the same album. And um, Toby Wright produced it. Not sure wait, who those two people wait, 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 wait. Toby Wright? <laughs> Toby Wright, like David Wright. Oh, I thought you said Toby Wright. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. <laughs> They're from Michigan, and they have a new album out now called Plead the Fifth. It has a great song on it called Fracture. You should say it. You should check out that song, and yeah, it's a great song right there. Yeah. So sure. that is five packs for three bands, and uh, yeah, there you go. Wait, what the hell? Never mind. Yeah, so that is conclude our first summer episode of South Park Outside. <laughs> <laughs> South Park. <laughs> South Park. <laughs> I meant Sad Corp. It, it would be kind of cool if we were part of Sad Corp. <laughs> Dude, you did it again. <laughs> <laughs> I said South Corp. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I epically failed at uh, calling Sad Corp South Park. Yes, that's an epic fail, but who cares? We're nobody special anyway, you know? True. true. Yeah, avoid my turkey neck there. Yeah. Uh, so this is Dan Holy sounding off with Scott, the jackass yeah, sitting on the chair backwards, thinking he's all cool. I felt like sitting. And he sort of humped it there, yeah. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, so yeah. we're signing off. Check out sagcorp.weebly.com. Check that out. We're on Twitter, updating sometimes daily. Uh, Sagcorp37 on YouTube. Yep. And on our Facebook page. Well, if you see, well, if you're watching this video right now, you obviously know. You obviously yeah, you know what Sagcorp is. Find One us on. Few. One of the lucky few who know what side court is. Find us on Facebook too, so see ya, people. Yeah, links are down below if you uh, need that. Yeah, so die. So th this concludes another episode of Side Carp. Thank you guys.